This video will explain you about in-stream and catalog procedure in job control language or JCL. JCL is a scripting language used in mainframe ZOS environment to run bad jobs. A JCL can be used to compile or run a COBOL program. A simple COBOL program can be run via using JCL or a COBOL DB2 or a COBOL DB2 CSES program. So let us begin with the in-stream procedure. How to code in-stream procedure in JCL? Let us open the dataset utility. I'll create a demo program to demonstrate how to create an in-stream procedure. Let us begin by typing in the job card. I'll give my job card name as demo. Job notify to my system ID. Before going ahead, let us understand what is a procedure. A procedure is a set of statements which can be defined inside a start and the end of a code and can be called upon or invoked upon whenever you need to execute that statement anywhere inside the JCL. A procedure can be of two types. It can be an in-stream procedure or a cataloged procedure. Here we are going to look into the in-stream procedure. As the name itself suggests, an in-stream procedure is a procedure which is present inside the stream or the current JCL that you are working on. Let us begin with defining a procedure that is in-stream or an in-stream procedure. A simple procedure can be defined using a proc name or a procedure name which is a variable it depends upon the user what the proc name should be in this case I'll give it as INSTRM in stream followed by proc this marks the beginning of the procedure To better understand, I'll enter this command or comment. Procedure begin. Now here I'll enter the statements that I want to call whenever I invoke the procedure. This procedure will be a simple PS creation procedure in order to avoid typing in multiple copies of same statement to create a PS. Here I'll use a symbolic parameter which can be substituted upon execution. A symbolic substitution is very much required whenever you want to enter multiple number of variables on execution. Like in this case I want to create 5 PS, 5 PS data set having different names. But using an in-stream procedure in order to avoid repetition of code ampersand name 
will give the data data set configuration could be a disposition of new catalog and delete oh i have missed a comma over here let us define the storage MP space track type primary secondary release not require data control block logical record length of 80 we define the block size as 800 that is the multiples to optimize our coding time or execution time record format is fp fixed block data set organization be a ps as we want to create a ps so the step execute and the dd statements are complete next thing is to end the proc to end a proc you simply have to give a p end this will mark the end of the procedure So the definition of the procedure is complete. Summary, a procedure or a proc starts with a proc name, then a keyword proc, followed by the statements, ends with a P-E-N-D, that is procedure end. Let us now invoke the procedure. To invoke a procedure, we'll use the same proc name defined above. We'll define an execute execute instrn using the symbolic parameter will replace the value as ps1 this will create our data set 1 next we want to create more data sets will be 2 3 4 and 5 we'll change the step name as you as we cannot have duplicate step name So now we have PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4 and PS5. Using the procedure we were able to avoid repetition of code. Let us once check for a syntax error. So we will go ahead and save this and submit it. is being submitted the max cc is zero so our job demo has been executed with max cc zero in our data set list we can see yes we can see five ps created thank you